Hi, welcome to Cara's house. Today we're going to be having a look around the colours you can get this Yolio R9 bike in and also some other colours I've got my eye on for when I place my order later. Let's get looking. Okay, so let's start looking at some of the colours you can buy. Um, so uh, let's get right into it. Um, you can get this white one, two-tone white, white and grey. Uh, this one. Now there's the ghost. Right, now let's go back the other way. Let's just keep going back. So we've got the white one. You can look around it. Yep, it's pretty sweet. You've got uh, gloss black and yellow. Gloss black and red. Gloss black and white. Um, and there's a picture of their uh, through axles. Um, when I get mine, I'm actually going to um, see if the rear axle from the R6 actually fits onto the R9 because I don't like handles on my um, on my through axles. So I've actually bought ones without the handle. Um, and they've just got an Allen key uh, attachment that goes into the threaded end and undoes them that way. Um, just I prefer ones without handles, that's all. So we've got uh, black and green. That actually looks better in real life um, than it does on their website. That is a pretty cool uh, color combo. Uh, so we've got black and orange. Looks like matte in this picture, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be gloss. And um, we've got pink. Uh, there is the integrated stem handlebar. Then we've got uh, the Ghost. I've actually got that version in the R6 at the moment. That white and gloss black looks nice. And then we're almost back to the start. Okay, so that's the um, options that Yolio do. I had a look around because um, I was trying to come up with some new ideas. And if you go onto the Trek um, Project One site, um, you've actually got a lot of colours down here at the bottom. Um, colours that they do that you can uh, customise your bike in. But they've got an option here called Full Fade. Now, when you choose color one, you've got a lot of these different um, colors to choose from. So I was just having a look through them. And um, for the 2020 bikes, it seems as though color fades are, are in. Um, this green and yellow version, I do like. I was toying with the idea of putting uh, red at the top, yellow in the middle, green on the bottom. And um, I've asked Yolio if they can do that. They say they can. And they also use the Pantone color chart. Um, I wasn't familiar with that um, over here. I've heard of RAL, the RAL color palette, but not Pantone. So um, I downloaded a color palette or a color chart from Pantone just so I could see what colors they have. And if I didn't have and the colour that I wanted or that I wanted to look at, I just ask Siri, for instance, uh, what number is metallic silver in the Pantone colour chart, and then it would come up with its number um, and show me a picture of it. So we've got all these nice fade colours. Um, some of them I liked. Uh, that is only incompatible because the lettering on the frame is black and you can't see it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and there's my phone. Sorry about that. Um, that's pretty cool. And as I said, I was just going through these, all these different colours you get from the Project One, just trying to come up with, um, come up with some sort of uh, inspiration. And for some reason, I did like the silver, and they call it gravel, solid 
gravel to solid charcoal. I did like um, white to silver, just quickly. And go to bikes on the Sagan collection. It's his, uh, one of his, yeah, it's this. Um, I was looking at this and I did like the color scheme uh, with that silver into the white. I know it's not white, it's kind of a pearlescent color, but I did like it and I thought mm, that looks quite nice. So if I could have a silver top tube faded downwards into a, um, a white, you know, because I've had a black bike all the time. Uh, that would be quite cool. And then I looked on um, giant bikes and I was looked at the English ones and they were ripped, nah. So I started going around the world in regions and I come to China's website and they've got this giant propel with white and that's faded and the closest color I can come up with is gunmetal. Um, so I asked Siri to find me gunmetal in the Pantone color chart and it looks, when I zoom in, the color on my phone looks exactly the color of that. So I am quite liking this color scheme of the gunmetal faded into white. I'm not sure why but I like it. I instantly liked it, the same way I instantly liked um, this. I instantly liked the yellow to green fade, but I so like the horizontal fade rather than the vertical fade. There's something about it I just like. Hmm, that might be the way to go, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, solid blue, bit boring to have a, I don't know. I just want something a bit different, so that is what I was uh, toying with, the idea of that fade just looks awesome, I like it, I like it a lot. So that's the way I'm thinking of going, um, either this fade or maybe uh, metallic silver into white, I can't really put my finger on it, it's one of these. Um, just give me any ideas what you think is a good color fade or a color scheme just to help me out um, in the comments below and that's it for this video thanks for watching like subscribe for more Cairo's house uh, comments below as i said and we'll see you on the next one take care bye